Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Wrestling Rants and Reviews. This is Big Mike, and I am your teacher. <laughs> That's right, I'm back on another day in wrestling history. And that day is for June the 22nd. And I'm looking at my uh, my notes here, my sheet that I normally go by, uh, you know, to give you all the news, and there ain't fuck all on it. We got, like, one title change, two birthdays, and the beginning of a fucking, what was a shitty weekend in 2007. Um, you know, oh, and we got another death that was in 2009. You know, there's like four things to mention. One shouldn't be mentioned because a lot of people don't mention it. It's very tongue-in-cheek these days. People just don't like to talk about this subject. But I'm going to. I'm going to touch, touch on it a little bit because I don't want this just to be a minute long fucking intro to a day in wrestling history that there really is no history. So let's just have at it. We'll see what we can do with it. Title changes for, day in, for today in wrestling history are 2002. The WWE Hardcore Titles 24-7 rule sees the belt pass from Bradshaw to Raven despite that lead to Sean Stasiak and back to Bradshaw. That's it. That's your title changes. Birthdays for today... Well, no one, well, I guess I can't say no one insignificant, but uh, we got a couple indie stars, indie regulars. Their birthdays are today, and they're actually two female indie wrestlers. One being Amber O'Neill, who is 37, and Laura Lee, who is 29. And uh, former IWGP Tag Team Heavyweight Champion and uh, Junior Heavyweight Champion Tetsuya Naito is 29. So that's it. And in memoriam, we see... We have Billy Red Lions, who lost his battle of cancer in 2009 at the age of 77. He was a former NWA Texas and American Heavyweight Champion. And this is it. This is the tongue-in-cheek. This is what no one wants to speak of. This is the beginning of a three-day weekend. That was, you know, hell. Um, you know, um... It's just, uh, I don't know if I should speak of it or not, but it's going, it's the beginning of the Benoit murder-suicide case. On this day, June 22nd, is when they figure Chris Benoit's wife, Nancy, was murdered. Um, you know, on the on Friday, June the 22nd. You know, then the next day, you know, um, they believe that Daniel... You know, was the next to go a day later. Um, and Benoit eventually, you know, taking his own life. Um, you know, it's a very tongue-in-cheek. But uh, a lot of people don't want to talk about it. I don't blame them. I don't think I will either. I think I'll just leave it at that. Um, and I won't speak of it for the rest of the week. Because, uh, I don't know, it's just one of those subjects. Um, so that's it. That's today in wrestling history. It's very short, I know. You know, there's only a title change, a couple of birthdays, and these two uh, passings. Um, I just want to leave it at that. I'm not going to get into this Bolt Benoit thing. Uh, it's for everyone else's discussion. And maybe I shouldn't have brought it up. But hey, you know, I am the teacher, and this is what happened on today in wrestling history. The beginning of the fucking, uh, you know, whew, beginning of this. So, anyways, I'm Big Mike. Sorry for the shortness of your, your history. <sighs> yeah, there just wasn't that much going on. So, uh, until I see you again, I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs>